New tonight, the Durham City Workers Union is not impressed with the city manager's proposal to give people who work for the city just one-time bonuses. The offer came after these workers here behind me went on strike. There's been some conversations this evening and over the weekend about exactly what things would look like. And Carly Haynes joining us now live to talk about where things stand in this fight for more money. Carly. Mark, these bonuses are only a fraction of what city workers are asking for. The city manager will be recommending these one-time bonuses to city council that will cost more than $6.5 million to make it happen and will come from the city's sales tax revenue. Durham city manager proposing an extra chunk of change to help workers roll in the new year. So when our budget allows us to make one-time bonus payments to employees, as we have done in previous years, we do just that, but in a way that is responsible and equitable. According to the proposal, those who earn 57000 or lower would get $3,000, 57 to 90000 2500 and 90000 plus 2000 It'll come from city funds. Our remaining fund balance will continue to support the city's future needs and provide a layer of protection in case of emergency. What do we want? When do we want it? Now. But the Durham City Workers Union wants that bonus to be bigger. Durham Solid Waste Workers recently walked off the job and went on a week-long strike. They feel overworked and underpaid and say a bonus is just the start. They also want a hike in minimum wage. Durham is working on a compensation study which will be voted on spring 2024. This information will help us determine how to continue to pay our employees based on the market. The City Council will be meeting at 6.30 p.m. on Monday. The Workers' Union plans to hold a rally outside of City Hall during that time. Mark. Carly Haynes, live for us in Durham.